This is a short video from the ONS looking at people with disabilities in the labour market. For a transcript, email info at ons.gov.uk. Firstly, looking at this graph, we will focus on the employment rates of people aged 16 to 64 who have a disability that limits their day-to-day -day activities, known as DDA disabled, and those who have no disability. In April to June 2011, 76.2% of people with no disability were in employment, with around 45.6% of people DDA disabled in work. Therefore, just under a half of disabled people were in work, equating to around 3.2 million workers in the UK. If we remove the bars, we can now look at the percentage of people who are in employment that work part-time. What we see is that around 24.6% of people without a disability who are working do part-time hours, while around a third, or 33.8% of disabled people who work, do part-time hours. So a disabled person is less likely to work than someone who is not disabled, and if they do work, they are more likely to work part-time. We can look at the types of jobs that people with and without disabilities carry out within the UK by grouping jobs from low skill through to high skill. The low skill level equates to the competence acquired through compulsory education with examples of occupations such as postal workers, hotel porters, cleaners and catering assistants. High skill jobs normally require a degree or extensive work experience with examples such as medical doctors, teachers and accountants. If we bring up this pie chart we can see that for those who are not disabled around 11% work in low skilled jobs, around 34% in lower middle skilled jobs, around 28% in upper middle skilled jobs and around 27% in the highest skilled jobs. Now looking at those with a disability, around 11% are in low skilled jobs, the same percentage as those who are not disabled, with 40% in lower middle, 25% in upper middle and 24% in high skill. So what we see is that around 45% of people without a disability are employed in the two lowest skill groups. But for those with a disability, the percentage is higher, with around a half in employment in these skill groups. We can also look at employment rates depending on the type of impairment. Bringing up this chart, we can see the top three employment rates are for people with a skin condition, those with diabetes, and those with a heart or circulatory impairment. The lowest employment rates are for those with learning difficulties, a mental illness or depression, and here are the employment rates for people with other types of impairments. Finally, we will look at the incidence of disability across the UK, focusing on the people aged 16 to 64 who are most likely to engage in the labour market. If we bring up this map, we can see that for the UK as a whole, around 18.3% of people have a disability that limits their day-to-day -day activities. If we split the country up, we can see the highest percentage of the 16 to 64 population that have a disability is in the northeast of England, or Wales, at 21.4%. The lowest percentage is in London at 14%.